Hi guys, Mr Hill here with your computing lesson for this week. Now we know we touched on this right at the beginning of our school year, but we're going to go back over it, especially as we're online for our learning and our schoolwork at the moment. So we're going to look at, can I explain how to behave online? So I've got some images here. I wonder how many of these you can work out what social media platform they belong to. Just have a go. So there's quite a few. There's one there that I don't know what it is. So if you want to have a go, maybe put them in a list for me and post it on Tapestry. That would be fantastic. So have a think about which sites you use for either social media or for gaming. Now, I know some of you play Roblox. There's Adopt Me. There's lots of other platforms you can play games on. Do they have a chat function? So do you talk to your friends on there? What I'd like you to do is make a short list of what websites you use. So the social media or the gaming. So you've got things like TikTok as well. Which of those do you use? Pause the video for a moment and just make a short list and then just think about it. Do you have a do they have a chat function on there? And then do you talk to your friends on there? OK, got your list finished. Fantastic. Right. Question for you. How should you behave on there? Are there community guidelines that you're supposed to follow? Have a think. Can you write me? four ideas about how your behavior should look when you're online. Okay, got your list? Fabulous. Right, I'm going to share my list with you. Be kind. If you wouldn't say it to someone in real life, don't say it to them when you're online. Someone might be really struggling, might be having a really bad time of things, they might be really upset, and what you say might be the, might be even more upsetting for them. So, as I said, don't say things that you wouldn't say to someone in real life. Don't spam the chats. This is one of my biggest annoyances when I go on things and you get someone just putting one letter into a chat over and over again or putting silly things in chat, thinking that they're being funny. All you're really doing is just annoying everybody else in that chat in that chat and they'll leave. Be careful as well if you're telling jokes what you find funny someone else might find it being really rude so just remember in real life you can see someone's face you can see them smiling you know they're having a joke when you're in a chat room you've just got the words on the screen i know you can put a funny emoji after it but that doesn't always explain that you're having a joke so just be careful with what you write think before you post something there's lots of stories out there of people posting things when they were younger, thinking they were being funny, that have come round and been very, very embarrassing when they've got older. Just be careful. Think before you post anything online. A lot of communities online will also have guidelines. What they expect their members to do, how they should behave. Within there, there should also be the opportunity to report people that aren't following those guidelines. So if you've got a community like that, so maybe if it is on Roblox or on TikTok, see if you can find those community guidelines. See if you can find where you would report the behaviour that's not acceptable. So be careful is the big thing. Be careful with what you say. Make sure that you've thought it through before you press share. Just to show you what can happen. I thought I'd share a picture. That's me with one of my favorite things in the world, a bottle of chili sauce. And I'm also wearing the same shirt and tie that I did that photograph in for this video. I shared that on Saturday afternoon. Within 18 hours, it had been shared 24 times. 22 people had liked it. 17 people had commented on it and I roughly worked out that image has potentially been seen by over 2,000 people. Some of them I've never even met. I don't even know who they are. That's the power of the internet. So this is why I was saying think before you share because what could happen, well let's go back a step. 
my image is a long way from going viral. I haven't got millions of people looking at it, commenting on it, copying it, taking screen grabs of it and making it into memes. But it can happen very easily. It's now on the internet for anybody to see. So be careful with what you put online. People might do something like this. There you go. I've been transformed into a professional footballer with a very bad Photoshop job. But there are people out there who might think, actually, I don't like that person. And I'm not going to treat them very nicely. So I'm going to take that picture of their head. I'm going to put them onto something that's really not very nice. This is something that's called trolling. So it's making someone feel really uncomfortable about their online presence. But just because that they're there and someone disagrees with them. So this is what could happen with some of the information that you might share. So I might have shared my picture with a friend on Facebook, which is where I shared that on social media. But because I've asked someone to share it round, it's got to 2000 people. But what would happen if someone had shared that without my permission and they'd sent it to lots of other people and those people then turned around and started making fun of me for it? How do you think I would feel? I know I would feel pretty upset. I'd feel really annoyed that someone had betrayed my trust like that. This is another part of our online behavior. If someone shares something with you, don't take it that you can go and then share it with somebody else. It's the same as if someone tells you something personal, like a secret about themselves in school, you're not gonna go and tell everybody else at school. Same rules apply on the internet. You can cause just as much damage to that person's own well-being by sharing it on the internet as if you'd done it at school. So online behavior, what does on bad behavior look like online? You've got bullying, spreading rumors about someone, sharing embarrassing images of someone, even posting someone else's private details, putting their phone number on or their Facebook links or their TikTok links and saying, oh, go and look at this person, they're really silly and make comments at them. This is a really unfair thing to do. You wouldn't do it at school, in the playground. You wouldn't go over to someone and say, oh, you'll go and say this to so-and-so because they're that. You wouldn't do the same thing online. Pretending to be someone else online. So trying to get someone to reveal personal details or information that they can then use to make fun of them or then steal information from them. I know when we started our computing this year, we did the post-it notes challenge. So I gave everybody in my class, and I know the other teachers in the other classes, gave everyone a post-it note. Asked you to write three things on there. They got collected up. We shared them around. And all of a sudden, your personal information was dotted all around the classroom and in different classrooms all throughout the place. The same thing can happen. So if you don't trust the person that you're talking to is the right person, might not be them. But this is another example of really bad behavior online. By pretending to be someone else, it's identity theft. It's a criminal act. You can be called up by the police or visited by the police and told that what you're doing is illegal. You can be arrested and you can spend time in jail for it. So this is another example of bad behavior online. Moving on, posting mean or hurtful names or comments about someone based on their personal characteristics, their race or their religion. So for example, you might decide to post, oh, I don't like Mr. Hill because he's really tall. Well, yeah, I am tall, but I might feel self-conscious about my height. And that gets posted online. It gets shared around everywhere. And all of a sudden I see it written up and I see who's written it. I might feel really upset by it. Posting images that are meant to be shocking or upset people. If it's something that you think, mm, I'm not really sure that's a good idea, don't share it. You might upset someone. Or it might be that if something's happened to someone, it might trigger off a memory that they really don't want to have. Creating a web page or private chat to be able to post mean and hurtful comments about another person. This, again, is a nasty thing to do. And I hope none of you guys do this. Because if that person finds out, they're going to feel really upset. So I've talked a lot about what bad behavior looks like online. We've touched a little bit on the good. So your task today. What I want you to do is have a really good think about how you should behave online. As I said at the beginning, we're going to be spending a lot of time online for the next few weeks. 
so doing our learning we're going to be doing times table rock stars we're going to be doing your youtube lessons you're going to be in your live meetings with your class teachers on teams you're going to be doing lots of things so think about your behavior online how can you be a model citizen online so think about your moral compass here i know we go on about it when we're in school the same thing applies when we're on the internet so what I want you to do is make a poster about what positive online behavior looks like to you. So I want you to think about how you are going to show you are using your moral compass while you're interacting with other people online, while you're doing your lessons online, while you're watching your YouTube videos for your lessons, same as you are now. Before I let you go off to get on with your task, I'll share with you the idea I had. I've done a simple PowerPoint slide. So I started off with a cloud in the middle, how to behave online. Don't say mean things to other people. Think before you post something online, it could be on the internet forever. Be yourself, don't pretend to be someone else. Follow community rules for the site. So it was the community guidelines I talked about before. Report behavior you don't like to your parents or the site easiest way to get help is to talk to someone else they can help you so i'm going to leave this up here for you i'm going to go back to my previous slide about how we should behave online i'm going to leave this here for you i look forward to seeing your work put up on tapestry take care everybody stay safe and i'll see you next week for another computing lesson